It's an exciting matchup between the Nashville Predators and the Philadelphia Flyers at Wells Fargo Center. Nashville aims to bounce back from their recent 5-2 loss against the Canucks. Despite having a challenging offensive outing, scoring only two goals out of 28 shots and faltering on the power play, the Predators have displayed consistency in their season with 100 goals scored and a shot percentage of 10, 4 percent. With Drew Serrells guarding the net, boasting a safe percentage of 918 and 180 quality starts in his career, Nashville seeks a stronger defensive performance. Philadelphia comes off a close 3-2 win against the Devils, where they managed to secure victory despite not converting on their power play opportunities. The Flyers have showcased defensive prowess with 90 goals this season, sitting fifth in shots attempted, with Carter Hart guarding their net, holding a safe percentage of 907 and a quality start percentage of 49.5%. The Flyers aim to capitalize on their scoring abilities. Statistically, both teams have shown offensive strength, with Philadelphia slightly edging Nashville in terms of shots attempted and goal score. The Predators, known for their consistency and offensive execution, face a Flyers team that's equally potent in their offensive approach. The prediction leans toward a closely contested game with the Philadelphia Flyers securing a narrow 5-4 victory over the Nashville Predators. The Vancouver Canucks are set to clash with the Dallas Stars in what promises to be an intriguing matchup at American Airlines Center. The Canucks are coming off a convincing 5-2 victory against the Predators, displaying strong offensive prowess by converting 5 goals out of 35 shots. With the league leading 125 goals scored this season, Vancouver showcases an impressive offensive front, backed by a power play rate of 24, 79%. Thatcher Demko guards the net for the Canucks, boasting a safe percentage of 919 and 104 quality starts in his career, making him a solid defensive asset. On the other side, the Stars come off a close 4-3 win against the Kraken, where they managed to capitalize on four of their 28 shots on goal. Dallas, with 105 goals this season and a power play percentage of 23, 33%, aims to build on their offensive strengths. Scott Wedgwood defends the goal for the Stars, holding a safe percentage of 908 and a quality start percentage of 48, 4%. Both teams possess solid offensive capabilities, with Vancouver slightly edging Dallas in terms of goals scored this season. The Canucks display a higher shot percentage and a league-leading goal count, while the Stars have a slightly stronger penalty kill rate. The prediction leans toward a hard-fought battle where the Dallas Stars secure a 4-2 victory over the Vancouver Canucks. The Ottawa Senators are set to face the Colorado Avalanche in an anticipated matchup at Ball Arena. Ottawa is coming off a close 4-3 loss to the Coyotes in their previous game, accumulating 15 penalty minutes and managing to convert one goal out of two power play opportunities. They've showcased an average offensive performance this season, scoring 90 goals while allowing 93. Junis Corpus low guards the net for the Senators, boasting 106 quality starts and a save percentage of 903 throughout his career, making him a reliable presence in goal. Meanwhile, the Avalanche encountered a narrow 3-2 defeat against the Blackhawks in their recent outing, capitalizing on two power play chances out of three and scoring two goals from 37 shots on goal. Colorado displays a strong offensive front, tallying 114 goals this season with a power play percentage of 21, 67 percent. Alexander Georgiev defends the goal for the Avalanche, maintaining a quality start percentage of 54, 4 percent and a save percentage of 910, highlighting his prowess as a goaltender. Both teams have displayed solid offensive capabilities this season, with Colorado holding a slight edge in terms of goal score. The Avalanche also exhibit a stronger shot percentage and a more efficient power play. The prediction leans toward a high-scoring game where the Colorado Avalanche secure a 6-3 victory over the Ottawa Senators.